Well, hello guys. It's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my flavor twisters doing today? I hope that you're doing well. What we're going to do today, guys, we are going to make some potato salad. And this is not like the original version of potato salad. We are going to make some potato salad out of red skin potatoes that I have in this bowl right here. And what I did with these potatoes, guys, they're already done, basically. I um, washed them off and put them in this bowl. I put two tablespoons of water in the bowl. I put the lid on them, and I put it in the microwave for five minutes. And these potatoes are nice and tender, but that's not all we're going to do with these potatoes. What we are going to do is... I'm going to put them in the air fryer for about five minutes so the skins could crisp up on them. So in front of you, what I have, I have two tablespoons of sugar in here. I have a teaspoon of garlic powder. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of ground red pepper because when I make this version of potato salad, I don't like to use black pepper. I have some fresh parsley here. I have... um some celery, some green bell pepper, and some onions. And I put them in my um, processor and I chop them fine because this type of potato salad, I don't want big crunchy vegetables. I got seven eggs in this bowl here that I chopped up. I got some mayonnaise, dill relish, mustard, some olive oil, and I have some um, salad supreme. So, and down here, guys, these were the little red skin potatoes. And like I said, I put them in the microwave for five minutes. And all I did, I cut them like that. Then I cut them again. Put them, I cut them in quarters. Okay. Now just throw these over in the bowl here. I just wanted you to see how I cut them. And they're nice and tender, basically. So we're just going to air fry them to crisp up the skins. And then I'm going to let them cool off. And we're going, while that's, while they're cooling off, we're going to mix up our dressing. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now I have the potatoes in my air fryer basket. And what I'm going to do is take this olive oil and just drizzle some on the potatoes. Okay, and then I'm going to mix it. And that way they'll be covered in the oil. Because I want these skins to get nice and crisp. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be so good, guys. I said, let me try a different way here. I have made this before for my family and they loved it. But every once in a while, like for the holidays, I'll make the traditional. And this holiday, I said, well, I'm going to do the red skin again. And they're really good. Okay. So now, I have my ninja ready. And it says to add food. So, I'm going to add seven minutes. But I'll probably leave it in there for five. I'll check it after five. Okay. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. I left the potatoes in the air fryer for like 12 minutes. But it all depends on your air fryer. But just leave them in there until you see the skins get kind of crispy. Just like this here. So what I'm going to do is dump these in a bowl. And sit them to the side. And let them cool off. And then... We are going to, let me put the bowl down here. We're going to mix up our dressing, put it over the potatoes, and that's all to it, guys. So I'm going to let these cool off because I don't want the potatoes to um, be hot when I put it, the dressing over it. Okay, be right back. Okay, guys, let, what I meant to do is while the potatoes are warm, I'm going to put some of this salad supreme over them 
And then that way it can sink all in there. Mmm, yum. Okay. Give them a toss. A little bit more. And you do this to your taste, guys. Because we may not have to put salt in this. I'll taste it afterwards. And then we'll add a little salt if we need it. Okay. Now I'm going to push this to the side. And we're going to mix up that dressing. Now first of all, guys. I'm going to take two heaping tablespoons of the celery. And I'm going to do the same thing with the green bell pepper. And like I said, these are chopped really fine, guys. And that's how you want it. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with the onion. Okay. All right. And now, mix this up. Now, let's add some mayonnaise to this. Okay. And I'm just eyeballing it. If we need more, we can add it. So I put three the keeping tablespoons of mayonnaise. Mmm, yum. Okay. Mix that up really well. And I'm going to add that garlic powder. It's a teaspoon. And I'm going to add the sugar. That's two tablespoons of sugar. Okay. Now let's get that ground red pepper. This is only an eighth of a teaspoon because this stuff is hot. So be careful with that. Okay. And what I think I'm going to do is add a little bit more mayonnaise. Put another tablespoon here. Because I don't want to put it back in my jar with seasoning on it. But we'll do two. Okay, so that was like five heaping tablespoons. Okay. This is going to be so good, guys. And we're going to let the potatoes cool down, so I'm going to mix this up and probably put it in the refrigerator till the potatoes cool down. Okay. Now let me get the relish. Now I have the dill relish here, if I can get it open. Stuff just likes to give me problems. Okay. I finally got the relish open. And I'm going to put in two heaping teaspoons of this. This is dill relish, guys. It's really good. Mix that in. Well, maybe I'll put three. Okay, that should be enough. Okay. See, that's enough vegetables for me. I don't want too many veggies. Okay. Now take some of that salad supreme. Sprinkle a little bit more in there for seasoning. This stuff is so good, guys. Okay. And also, we have some yellow mustard. I'm just going to eyeball that about a tablespoon. Oh, come on. This is a new bottle and it's just acting up. Okay. Yeah, that's like a tablespoon. Okay. Now I want to taste this and see how it tastes. All 
Alrighty, let me get a spoon and see how that tastes. See if it needs any salt or anything. Okay. Mmm. That's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now, I'm not going to add the eggs until the potatoes cool off and I'll put the eggs on top and we'll, we'll on the potatoes and mix it in then we'll pour the dressing over. Be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Our potatoes are nice and cool. Now I have the egg and I'm going to mix the egg in. This piece, okay. It was just stuck. I get ready to say I know I chopped it. I love a lot of eggs in my potato salad, guys. This was seven eggs. <laughs> As you can tell. And just toss it with the potatoes. Let me get over here. This is going to be delicious. It's a new way of making potato salad. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now is start... Is that piece chopped up? Yeah, it's just stuck. Okay, now I'm going to start pouring the dressing on. This should be enough. And just mix it. I know you're kind of figuring air fried potatoes in potato salad. But with the red skin potatoes, one thing I know when sometimes when you um, cook potatoes with the skin on them, that skin could get kind of chewy. So when you air fry them, it stops it from doing that. Okay. All right. And we're going to mix a little of the parsley in there. Give it some color. This is going to be delicious, guys. Trust me on this. Okay. Just mix it up. It should be enough, man. Maybe I'll put a little bit more dressing. Well, this is the rest of it, really. Okay, it's just a couple of spoonfuls in there. I don't want to overdress it. And we're going to give this a taste. And I'll see if it needs any salt. Okay, so remember I put that salad supreme over the potatoes too. And it does have salt in it. Okay, now let me get a fork and taste this. Okay. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, yum. Mmm. Oh my. That's delicious. But I am going to take a little bit of sea salt. Okay, I'm throwing stuff. I get it. And put it over there. It's enough sugar and everything. And you can taste that dill relish. And oh my god, guys, this is delicious. Okay. Now let me wrench my fork off. And taste it one more time. Make sure that it has enough um, salt in it. I'm even gonna let it in my fork. Okay. Now let me see. Look at this. Mmm, yeah. Nice and creamy. Mmm. Oh my God, guys. Delicious. So, what I'm gonna do is put it in this dish I have. Oh my god, and those potatoes are delicious. Okay, put it right in here in this bowl. You have to try this recipe, guys. It's really delicious. 
I love making things a new way. But I, like I said, I have made this before and my family loved it. So, make this for your family, guys. They're going to be like, oh, wow. Okay, now what I'll do, take some parsley and just put it over the top of the garnish. Using my other potato salad, I put paprika on the top, but this is not needed with this. Okay, but it is delicious, guys. You have to try this for yourself. Okay, so there you have it. Look at that, guys. Mmm, yum. So, this is Flavors with a Twist. Um, my version of air fried potato salad made with the red skin potatoes. So, and like I said, I put them in the microwave for like five minutes with two tablespoons of water, put the lid on the plastic container, and it steamed them so they were good to go. Then I put them in the air fryer for like 12 minutes. I, what I should have did was probably turn the air fryer up a little bit higher and it wouldn't have took as long, you know, to crisp them up. But you can do you when it comes to that. But this is a delicious recipe, guys. Go to flavorswithatwist.com. YouTubers like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And you'll be notified of all the recipes that I upload. So this is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.